Hi, beloved in the Lord. My name is Emily Dion to say thank you so much, guys, for tuning into yet another prophetic word. The Almighty God bless and keep you safe, sound and protected. The Lord says that they say they have weapons, but you are a weapon in the hands of the Lord. They have weapons, but you are a weapon in the hands of the Lord. Gracious Father, I thank you, Lord. I give you all the praise. You are the omnipotent, omniscient God. There's no one like you. You are the same yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forever. Lord, our Father, sanctify this our space right now. That may your word, O oh God, create impact in the lives of your people. In the name of our Lord, Yahusha, Mashiach. Hallelujah. So, the Lord is not happy, beloved. Our God is not happy. Because the evil ones feel that they have weapons that they can use against humanity, against God's people. They have been demonstrating their weapons to show that they are powerful and they can do anything against the creation of the Most High God. And the Lord has been watching and watching. And they have been demonstrating their, their, their weapons through witchcraft. Through wars. Through all kinds of evil tactics, beloved. Occultism. All these things have been their weapons, beloved, against the people of God. Most especially, the fight against the consciousness, against the minds of the people of God. Most people of God, beloved, have been weaponized. So many things have been used to weaponize the people of God. And the Lord has been watching and see how they have been putting all their armors into action. They have been putting their armors into action in, in every shape and form. And the Lord says that you have you are not just, you don't just have weapons, but you are a weapon in his hands. That I should remind you that it's not just about praying. Yes, prayer is good. But that should tell that you are, that you should be cautious of the fact that you are a weapon all by itself. You are a weapon. And he has fashioned you, he has created you in his own image and likeness. Which means that all that you are what he is. He knows the powers of every weapon. There is no weapon that he does not know. And he said that he's annoyed, he's angry. He's angry and has decided to open his weaponry. He has decided to open his weaponry, his armory, sorry, and has brought out his weapons against his dignation. Jeremiah 15 verse 25. The Lord has opened his armory and has brought out weapons against his dignations. What is armory? Armory is like a storehouse where weapons are a, a, a storehouse for weapons what is dignation dignation is anger his anger his annoyance and he has brought out these weapons and he says to tell that you are one of the weapons you are one of the weapons in his hands that should tell you that you are a weapon all by itself and he shall use you to demonstrate his power. He shall use you to demonstrate his power. Beloved, they are not dangerous more than God. They are not dangerous more than God. They 
They are not dangerous more than God. They feel the thing that they have all the weapons to use against you. Not knowing that you are a weapon all by itself. And he says that he shall use you to crush down nations. Jeremiah 51 verse 20. 50, 50 verse 20. Jeremiah 51 verse 20. The Lord says, You are my war, my war clock, my weapon of war, and with you I shatter nations, and with you I destroy kingdom. You are God's war clock. Your hand is a weapon. Your head is a weapon. All the parts on your body are all weapons. So you are a club. That the Lord is bringing forth at this time to shatter people and nations for his name's sake. Whatever you say is a weapon. Because the word that you speak are the word of God. Sharper than any two edges is what we love it. As you pray, this is a weapon because the weapon, the weapon of our warfare are not carnal. They are not carnal, beloved. They are not about guns, sorcery, every kind of other kind, other kind, other, all kinds of things. But you are a special being. Your prayer is a weapon. The word of God sharper than any two edged swords. And all the weapons. So Corinthians. Uh, uh, um, two, uh, 10 verse 4 the weapons of our warfare, of our warfare are not carnal and when God starts using you as a weapon all the moons the stars they give it because of your radiance because of the radiance of his weapon because the way you shine beloved you are you are you are destroying nations and people and things that are not serving the Lord. That should remind you that you are a weapon in his hands. Habakkuk 3 verse 11. Habakkuk 3 verse 11, beloved. Let me tell you how powerful you are in the hands of the Lord. Habakkuk 3 verse 11. Oh, I say it's, it's Zaphania, sorry, Zaphania 3 verse 11. Sun and moon stood in their places. The winds away are the lights of your arrow and the radiance of your gleaming spear and the light of God's arrow. And you are that arrow. Every other thing gives way. As you are coming, every other thing gives way, beloved. Because you have been fashioned. If only you can have this. That's why that's why they have destroyed our conscience. People's consciousness that they, they should not be able to understand who they are. In the hands of the Lord. You are a pencil in the hands of the Lord. You are a craft in the hands of the Lord. You are everything in the hands of the Lord. He can use you, use you to do anything, beloved. The Lord is saying that you are a weapon in his hand. They have weapons, carnal weapons. But you as a being, you are a weapon all by itself in the hands of the Lord. And he shall, he shall use you to destroy things that are not of God right here now on the planet, beloved. Their weapons are not stronger than the, the, than the weapons of the law. He can use natural things, disaster to, to destroy. But he says you're one. You're one with all the other weapons that he has this moment. To perfect his will on the planet. To fight the battle and conquer. Your word is a weapon. 
Your prayer is a weapon. Your hands are a weapon. Every, your, 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 your entire being is a weapon. A club war for the Lord. So take care of yourself, beloved. Start putting, start knowing the things, start knowing the power of your being. Start knowing the power of your hands, the power of your legs, the, the power of your head. The power, beloved, there's power all over your being, all over your, your, your entire body is so powerful. Do you know this? Do you know this? And you are rage in the, the hands of the Lord. And the moons, the sun, they go away because of how you, how bright you are in the hands of the Lord as a weapon. They have weapons, but you are a weapon all by itself in the hands of the Lord. Say this to yourself right now. You are a weapon in the hands of the Lord. Beloved, you should be able to read Jeremiah 50 verse 20, 51 verse 20. You're able to read Zephaniah 3 verse 11. And of course, Jeremiah 50 verse 25. And know that, know how powerful you are. How the Lord values you, sees you, has created you as a weapon in his hand. At a time such as this. I love you, beloved, but Christ loves you even more. And we believe faith is a very good love that stress. See you in the next video.